you would come home and you said you would. Oh, it's my fault the train broke down. Well, you know I don't like to walk her by myself. I'll tell Amtrak. Well, next time you get so. to clean the road. Will. Look at him check those cars. He's not doing anything. How many times are we going to let these punks steal our radios? Well, what are you going to do, sick lamb chop on him? Come on, honey, he could be dangerous. We shouldn't have to live like That's it. Call 911. Hey! I mean, look at this. Oh, my God. So no ID. Blonde, maybe 35. We ran the plates, cars registered at Dobson Enterprises, whatever that is. How bad was she? Alive, barely. Paramedics said a bullet went into her head and didn't come out. That's him, that's the man. I spotted him running across Broadway. Three blow pucks and a Delco in his bag. You know what car radio thieves call this street? Audio warehouse. No gun, though. Well, we'll organize a search from here to Broadway. Yo, why didn't you nobody? There was no shot. Or maybe you just didn't hear it. No, it was quiet. I would have heard it. Man, the lady was bad when I got here. She break the window, too? Maybe the guy that done it. One of those carjackers. Take him in. For the radios. Man. First the shooter, then this guy. People were lining up to get to this lady. She was shot in a safer neighborhood. We wouldn't have found her till tomorrow. The bullet entered two inches from the eye, tore through the left frontal lobe, ricocheted off the back of the skull down through the occipital lobe, ended up in the cerebellum. Is there any chance we'll be able to talk to her? She's breathing, but uh, cortical function is limited. On the Glasgow coma scale, she scores a four. And that's not good? That lamp would score a three. There's a call for Detective Briscoe. There are also abrasions on her neck. Is that consistent with having a necklace ripped off? I'd say so. What about those bruises there? Old ones. How old? I'm not sure. They were healing. They tracked the owner of the car, Mr. Michael Dobson. Let's go tell him how she saved his radio. Thanks, Doc. two kids here. You're the babysitter? Yeah, part-time. Um, did, did something happen? Well, I'm afraid there's been an accident. Who's she? Mrs. Dobson? Yeah, and that's Mr. Dobson and Jessica and Jeremy. Did, did something happen to her? We're gonna need to speak to Mr. Dobson, honey. Do you know where he is? He, he's at Ha Ha. Ha Ha? It's the comedy club. He owns it. He works nights. Uh, so the, uh, the, the guy's 102 and the, the wife is uh, 98 and uh, the attorney says if you both, you know, hate each other this much for, for so long, you know, why'd you wait now to get a divorce? And the, uh, the wife says uh, we were waiting for the kids to die. You see, two, three, four. Oh, look at here. It's always nice to see the bridge and tunnel crowd. Uh, tell me, guys, does uh, Ward Cleaver know that you borrowed his sports jackets? Lucky for this guy, the audience is an arm. I told you 20 times. These jerks get one drink before they go on. Mm -hmm. One free drink. One drink, period. Now, if you can't remember that, I'm going to have to get someone who speaks English. Mr. Dobson? What? I'm Detective Logan. This is Detective Briscoe. Ooh. <laughs> well, if you've got an act, you're too late. It's about your wife, sir. I'm afraid she's been shot. What? We think it happened during a robbery. How, how is she? She's alive, but it's very serious. Oh, God. I told her it was too dangerous to be working at night. She was working? Some half-assed newspaper. Where is she? Manhattan General. Gotta call the babysitter. Give me the phone! 